resistant starch are little microbes in food that your body actually can't digest. Fitness expert Andrea Barkley says we should be using this trick to our advantage. Foods that are high in resistant starches when cooked and cooled the right way will have you eating fewer calories. Your body will digest and absorb them and instead it kind of cleans out your body and makes sure that your digestion is running really smoothly. One of those foods? Rice. So the conventional way to prepare rice is simply to take a cup of rice and boil it on the stove and normally you would eat it right away. But new research out of Sri Lanka says you can cut your calories in half by putting coconut oil into the boiling water and then adding the rice. The lipids in coconut oil actually change the chemical structure of the rice and breaks it down, increasing the resistant starch. After it's cooked, you'll want to store it in the fridge for 12 hours before eating. So reheating the rice over and over after it's been cooled will increase the resistant starch more, thus cutting the calories. The trick to all of this is cooking it, cooling it, and reheating it. So instead of eating 240 calories worth of rice, you're looking at 120. And this trick works for other foods too, like potatoes. Go ahead and boil it and same philosophy, stick it in the fridge and let it cool and from there you could just chop it up and toss it in a salad. That would already increase the resistant starch, but if you kept reheating that same potato, that would increase it even more. Sweet potatoes can also be cooked and cooled to lower the calorie count and the same goes for peas. If you um, take peas and if you cook them and heat them and repeat that process three times, that can increase the resistant starch up to 115%. Cook and cool, because the higher the resistant starch, the fewer the calories. Hot tips to cool off your calories? How can you resist on the breakdown?